right, so um, we have uh, 4.4, which is just inverses and identities. Uh, basically, here's what I'm going to do. Best way to do inverses, let's be honest, um, you can try to remember the formula. It's the determinant, um, and then you do 1 over um, AD minus BC, and this is A, B, C, and D over the determinant of A, B, C, D. All right. Yeah, not that bad, not that hard to remember. For a 3 by 3, gets a little insane and a little crazy. But anyway, for a 2 by 2, yeah, we could just do 1 over um, 5 times 9 is 45, and B, C is negative 56. So when you add those together, you end up getting... 45 plus 56. So you end up getting 101. So this is like saying 1 over 101, right? 1 over 101. But then times the determinant of that. So then it's times the determinant of 5, 7, negative 8, negative 9. And basically the determinant is down minus up as well. So the point that I'm getting at is that's great um, doing all that but you know what's simpler than doing all that this um, you on your calculator plugging that in for a and putting it to the negative one negative one means inverse so by that I mean go to second matrix on your calc or second X to the negative one that'll take you to the matrix then go to edit and let's edit a and now it's a two by two matrix so press 5, enter 7, enter negative 8, enter 9, enter. And press second mode. Okay? Show you how simple this is. Press this again. Second matrix. And then just press enter right on A. And you see x to the negative 1? Just press x to the negative 1. Don't press second, just press it. This is what it should look like on your calculator right now. That's exactly what it should look like. Press enter. See how you get a whole bunch of decimals? right see how you get a whole bunch of decimals there I don't want decimals so to get rid of those decimals here's what we're going to do press math and then the first thing is frac let's change them all to, to fractions press enter and then enter one more time see how you get a whole bunch of answers there you get 9 over 101 you get negative 7 over 101 you get 8 um, over 101 and you get 5 over 101. Why? Because when we did 1 over AD minus BC we got 1 over 101 and then what do you do? You keep A and D the same and you flip them. Right? So that's B but now B's down here and that's C so all I did was multiply 101 times um, or sorry I had it backwards. Um, have that backwards. You flip those, so that's D and that's A, so you flip them, and then you make each of these negative, so negative C and negative B is what you do. So notice how D is 9, right? So that's why it's 9 over 101. Notice how that's a positive 7, so 7 over 101, but we made it negative because you make it negative. It should be uh, negative 8 over 101 when you multiply it through, but then it's a negative, so negative, negative 8 is positive, and then a 5 over 101. And that is your inverse. Why go through all that when you can just plug it in on your calculator? That's my point. So going over to the next problem, right? The next problem, press second and x to the negative 1, and go over to edit and press enter. It's still a 2 by 2. Press 3, enter, 6, enter, negative 5, enter, negative 2, enter. And press second mode, so we're out of there. All right, press second x to the negative 1 again. And now you want a. And just press this, x to the negative 1. That'll find the inverse and press enter. Go to math and frac again. And we end up getting negative 1 12th. We end up getting negative one fourth. 
when you're getting 5 over 24 and 1 eighth. And there is your answer for the inverse for that one. Find the inverse for 3 by 3. Okay. Now let's plug this one in for B. So go to second again, x to the negative 1, and go over to edit. But let's go down to B and make that a 3 by 3. This is 4, 2, 1, negative 3, 0, 8, 2, 5, negative 6. Remember, press enter after each one and go to second mode. Now we're back to the main screen again. Here's what I want you to do. At the main screen, press second, x to the negative 1 again. So second, x to the negative 1 again. But now go down to B and take b to the negative one by just pressing just pressing this button right here and when you do that oh boy when you do that you end up getting um, some decimals so we have to press math and frac again so go to math and frac again and math frac gives us some crazy decimals here so let's see if I can get this stuff to stop acting up again we end up getting for our answer let's see here we end up getting 40 over 179 negative 17 over and notice how it's dot 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 off the screen that means you gotta keep pressing over to see what everything is negative sixteen over one seventy nine then it's go back over again right two over one seventy nine twenty six over one seventy nine and when i go over again we get thirty five over one seventy nine Then I go back over again so I can see the bottom row, and the bottom row is 15 over 179, 16 over 179, and negative 6 over 179, and there is your matrix. Now let's get that there, yep, there is your matrix. So do one more for you. Um, go to second x to the negative 1 again. We're going to plug this one in for b, so go to edit and go down to b, 3 by 3. Press negative 6, enter 23, enter 9, enter 3, enter negative 45, enter negative 4, enter 13, enter negative 11, enter 13, enter. And go to second mode. Then you go to second x of 1 again, or x to the negative 1 again, go down to B. So B is flashing there. Now just press this. All right, so it should look like this, right? B to the negative 1. You end up getting a whole bunch of decimals. So to get rid of those decimals, press math. And the first thing there is frac. So press math, enter, frac, enter. And you end up getting a huge fractions, right? So let's see how we can do with this. Negative 629 over 6649. Then the one right below that is negative 91, 6649. And then the one right below that is 552 over 6649. Then the next one over, when you press over, is negative 398 over 6649 negative 195 over 6649 and 233 over 6649 then when I keep going over more and more there's one that could not change into a decimal there but it's the other two are 313 over 6649 the other one was 4.5 uh, times 10 to the negative 4, which we can't uh, rewrite. The other one is 201 over 6649. So 
Yeah, crazy fractions, but your answer nonetheless in there. So, if you have any other questions or concerns, like I said, the easiest way to do this whole section is using the calculator. And remember, it's to the negative 1. All right, it's to the negative 1. That's how you know you're doing an inverse.